Hey guys, this video is all about splicing. Here on SV Gemini, we really pride ourselves in doing all the work we can ourselves, so we've had to learn a couple new skills along the way, and we'd like to be able to share those with you. So here's our little how-to video on splicing line on board your own vessel. Hope you enjoy it. All right, you ready? I'm gonna try to do this without instructions. Instructions. When my barber gets in town, we'll figure out this thing. <laughs> so we're gonna do this. Your barber has been waiting for months to cut your hair, and every time she tries to, you tell her you're not cutting it. So we're gonna do 300 millimeters. Mark it there. So that measurement wants to be 60 times the diameter. diameter of the line that you are splicing. And then your next mark is going to be how big you want your, your eye eyelet to be. You can make it really small. I found it's really difficult to make it that small for this type of line. Like this is about about your smallest, maybe like that. So we'll mark this sucker. Okay, so we'll put the fid on this side, squish it down, stick that sucker in there. Okay, so that's through your top mark. And then you put the tail, the bitter end, this guy in here, shove it through. Oh. Now, you have this mark that's marking your eyelet diameter. You pull that all the way through, and then the challenging part is you have to put this end of the eyelet through that hole, through that mark there. So this might be a little small. I don't know if, we'll, if I can do it for this, but let's see. So I go all the way down. These fids are cool because they have little uh, catcher tabs on them. So you can just fold it over in there. This line is just great though because you can just massage it through. Once you get a couple couple strands, then you can kind of just milk it all the way through. So now we have uh, the twist in this uh, brimble splice. We've gone through, we've put it all through. So now we're going to um, reinsert it the other way to get the splice out. Okay. So then that will get the twist out and then we will bury this bitter end in the whole assembly. Boom. See how it took the twist out? Next part. Take this sucker out. Use our de-splicer. So I'll do this here. all the way up here to the back end of this berry. Okay, and then I really haven't figured out a good way to do this yet, but I've been shrinking it up, twisting it, massaging it in there, shrinking it up, twisting it. I think that's the way to do it, but we'll see. So, that just sit that splice, okay? And now we'll pull this, we'll pull this back and then we're gonna taper all of this. We'll see. I'm not very good at um, tapering yet, but let's see if it all sucks in there. So if you have a, we just pulled that splice back in, but you can see little tails sticking out. So you just grab the tails, pull them back out, and then just do some more tapering. It's 
kind of like cutting my hair. <laughs> you wouldn't know about that, honey. No, I don't. I don't have any idea. All right, not the prettiest taper. I'll figure that one out later. And then boom, it's buried. Nice. Let's take a look before we send it all the way back up the mast. That looks pretty sweet. We just happened to have a stainless thimble that fits perfectly. And this will go at the top of the mast. Um, all right, should we go crank you back yeah, up the rig? Let's do it. Okay. Wait for the camera. Did you like this video? We'd love to make more like this, teaching you guys some small skills or tricks we've learned along the way. And we'd love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or give us a comment down below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.